some students they are saying that there is mistake in their name in the admit card so would that affect if they in case they appear in the examination no students if there is a spelling mistake in your name that is not a issue connected with the examination so be tension free appear in the examination later on you must correspond with the institute you must inform this institute and we will correct your record thank you sir Uh, now i would like to ask one question to mr dr pandey sir some students they are confused between inspection and supply of answer books so they want to know whether it is same or there is difference between the two students uh, the queries that we have just uh, uh, answered were relating to the pre examinations this particular uh, uh, questions pertain to after the result is declared that is the post examinations so we are in the era of transparency and institute also believe in this so you are provided an opportunity uh, many students thousands of students they appear very few got success and those who are not success they are given a opportunity through inspection and supply of answer books to see their answers so that you can use it your further academic purposes you can know what are your strength and weaknesses how you have answered and all now basic misconception is you have to understand that inspection and supply they are two different word inspection means you apply as as per the procedure the procedure for applying is available in the website immediately after the declaration of result within the 45 days you have to apply once you apply for the inspection inspection means the true copy of your answer books will be shown to you you will be called at noida office and you will be shown your answer books so this is the inspection inspection means you will be called you have to personally come this is one now supply of answer books supply of answer books means say again after the declaration of result within 45 days as i have told you you apply and if there is a prescribed form available on the website you apply for supply of answer books supply of answer books means the true copy of your answer books will be scanned and uploaded on the link or on the website and that link or a site address will be made known to you through email or through sms sms and email will be sent to you that this is your login id this is your password and for a particular period of time the answer copies will be available on that particular link so inspection means you have to come to the institute supply of answer books means your answer copies will be uploaded in the website once they are up uploaded the option is with you if you can view if you want to view only you can view your answer books and if you want to take a print outs the option is with you you can take the print print outs also so my only request to you is if you are availing these facilities you use it your for your future examinations so that you can identify your strength and weaknesses and you can perform well and you can get through the cs course so thank you sir for elaborating the same now this is with reference to december 2000 examination only students they are asking that with, with reference to december 2014 examination what is the impact of notified sections of the companies act 2013 on the subjects covered under icsi new course that is new syllabus hmm. actually the companies act 2013 has impact on uh, most of the subjects covered in cs course syllabus and uh, but some subjects there are the impact is quite a lot on those subjects and uh, like uh, for foundation course we have business environment paper there is huge impact on this paper the both the chapters which relate to companies in 2013 are impacted by this uh, notification of the new act and then in executive also basically there is more impact on company law paper that is for that we have already provided Uh, the uh, uh, study material on uh, company law to all the <coughs> students who have enrolled for december examination free of cost and similarly we have major impact in the professional program 
in most of the papers the, of the professional program it has got a major impact major being in the advanced company law and practice then due diligence and secretarial audit paper is there and uh, then there is uh, one paper this uh, ethics governance and then drafting appearance and pleadings paper actually brought out Uh, the revisions of all the 24 study materials we have in our course whether from the foundation professional or executive and to uh, facilitate the students who have old study material addition of the uh, old study editions of the study material with them what we have done is that for the both the company law paper of executive as well as professional you have to anyway go through the revised study material and which has already been supplied to you people for the other subjects if you need not go for the new study material what you can do is that you can refer your old study materials and then for the few chapters which has got impact on revision due to the uh, notification of companies act 2013 we have brought out the supplement for that so for uh, having the Uh, having the knowledge of the impact of companies at 2013 and going through the revised portions you can go through those supplements and company law book for your respective subjects for others you can refer to your old study material which are available to them otherwise if you want to go to the revised study material you can log on to icsi website also all the soft copies are there available in the pdf format the students can view them they can download them they can have print outs of them also so it is whatever convenient to you people you can have the uh, benefit of both the soft copy as well as the hard copy thank you ma'am for elaborating in detail available on the website of the institute that is www.icsi.edu they can download their admit cards from the website so now we'll take next set of questions now this is question for shrivastava sir students they are saying that they have sent their 12th mark sheet but still their roll number is not showing on the website see there is online provision i'll suggest you to go to the website go to on online services log in to your student account and then you can you yourself can upload your class 12 mark sheet there is a provision and you you can upload it and you can take the roll number and you appear in the examination See, without you have not submitted the mark sheet, you are not debarred from appearing the examination. You will get roll number. You are allowed to appear in the examination. So take take out the printout of roll number and go ahead. All the best. Thank you, sir. Now for examination regarding students are asking that a can a candidate left the examination hall earlier in case he has completed his question paper. Uh, there are, as I have told you, foundation. Uh, is on one side the entry level examination and executive and professional courses for the computer based examination no candidate will be allowed to leave the examination hall until the expiry before 45 minutes as you are aware there are four batches each day of the examination examination all, uh, already uh, uh, we have uh, seen that it is on 27th of december and 28th so timing say first batch will start from 9:30 to 11 so if your first batch you take into consideration it will start at 9:30 so you cannot leave before 10:15 am so this way uh, you are not allowed to leave within a prescribed time limit thank you sir so we are getting you know training related queries also in between so students they are very curious to know about this stipend that how much stipend companies offer during training the student i'd like to clarify that as far as stipend is concerned institute has come up with a guideline but guideline is indicative of the minimum level so whatever is prescribed in the guideline by the institute minimum amount that much is that companies or pcs are supposed to pay more than that any figure up to where they are comfortable so it's entirely up to the company or the pcs that any figure more than the minimum amount prescribed by the institute they are ready to pay they are they can pay now if a company is there there are you know there are three type of training 
स्टूडेंट कैन ज्वाइन अ ट्रेनिंग इमीडिएटली आफ्टर टेकिंग द एडमिशन टू एग्जीक्यूटिव प्रोग्राम और स्टूडेंट कैन स्टार्ट द ट्रेनिंग आफ्टर पासिंग द एग्जीक्यूटिव प्रोग्राम और स्टूडेंट कैन स्टार्ट अ ट्रेनिंग आफ्टर पासिंग द प्रोफेशनल प्रोग्राम ऑल दीज थ्री कैटेगरीज देर इज ए मिनिमम रिकमेंडेशन फ्रॉम द इंस्टीट्यूट साइड इफ अ स्टूडेंट इज गोइंग टू टेक द ट्रेनिंग इमीडिएटली आफ्टर टेकिंग द एडमिशन टू एग्जीक्यूटिव प्रोग्राम इफ अंडर द कंपनी मिनिमम थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज इफ गोइंग आफ्टर गोइंग फॉर ट्रेनिंग आफ्टर पासिंग द एग्जीक्यूटिव प्रोग्राम द मिनिमम फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज If going to join the training after completing the professional program, the minimum five thousand rupees is recommended from the institute to uh, as a stipend to the student. Similarly, if a student is uh, willing to join the training under PCS, PCS means Company Secretary in Practice. Now a student want to go for the training after thirty six month because he has just taken admission executive program. Then minimum recommendation recommended amount is two thousand rupees. If a student is joining a training. After passing executive program under a PCS, the minimum recommended amount is three thousand rupees. And if a student is joining a training of twelve months after passing professional program under a PCS, that is practicing company secretary, then minimum recommended amount is four thousand rupees.